welcome back to my channel it's a new year and with the new year comes new me right well i don't know about that maybe not so much new me last year i feel like i was really productive in certain areas and other areas kind of fell to the side and so this year i want to kind of change some of those things that i kind of feel like i kind of fell off on last year and moving a better direction this year so i'm gonna tell you how i'm gonna do it so last year there were some particular areas that i feel like i could have done better in one of those things is procrastination i've noticed that i kind of get overwhelmed with different projects that i'm working on and when i get overwhelmed i tend to procrastinate which then obviously makes the work build up and that's not really sustainable if you're going to really be successful another area is just my overall health in general and I feel like I could have done a better job of focusing in on that. And if I'm able to do that, then I'll be able to be more successful and more productive. And it kind of snowballs one thing plays into the next thing. Because it's the first of the year, a lot of people will set resolutions for the new year. Obviously that's a whole thing, but I'm not really a big fan. What tends to happen, at least for me, is when I've set resolutions in the past, I'll set these goals and I'll set these really high expectations of myself. But if for some reason I fall off or I'm not able to execute it 100%, it's really defeating and I end up just kind of throwing the whole thing away. Usually that happens within the first month for most people. And so that's really not a sustainable way of looking at who you wanna be and how you want things to change over the next year. So what I'm gonna do instead is set intentions for myself and decide how I want things to look, but be a little bit more forgiving to myself and hopefully that'll help motivate me to actually execute some of these things. So what's a resolution anyway? A resolution is a goal or a standard that you set for yourself. They're usually really rigid, not very flexible, and they kind of put things in a more black or white way of thinking. So it implies that something is good and something else is bad. And it's really kind of putting a judgment on different things as this behavior is good, this behavior is bad, this quality is good, and this quality is bad. So I'm gonna throw away the bad and only do the good. Well, that kind of implies that we need to be perfect and none of us are. And so it can create this kind of atmosphere of self-deprecation, self-criticism, which then is not conducive to following through and meeting your goals. So instead of that, we're gonna set intentions this year. We're gonna be very general and vague in terms of what direction we wanna go, what areas we wanna kind of focus on to improve but be able to kind of go with the flow. Because intentions are more compassionate. They are more qualitative instead of quantitative. So that means that I'm gonna look more at the quality of my life versus like the checklist. We'll get rid of the checklist and be more general in the direction you wanna go. Intentions are areas or things that you wanna aim for, ideas, hopes, values that you want to accomplish over the next year. It's not very strict or structured, and so that allows room for life to happen. Sometimes when we set resolutions and very rigid goals, life kind of gets in the way. You don't really know what's going to come up this year, what's going to happen, how you're going to feel from day to day and month to month. And I think self-care is really important, but resolutions don't really take that into consideration or allow flexibility if you have things that happen throughout the year. So an intention is more flexible and it's gonna allow you to kind of stick and move however you need to, depending on whatever the situations are that you find yourself in over the next year. So in order to set intentions for yourself, you wanna kind of think about who you are now versus who you want to be by the end of the year. Think about areas of your life that aren't really working the way you want them to go, areas that you see as potential improvement, and then how you want those things to look at the end of the year. And that'll kind of give you some direction on what kind of intentions to set for yourself and 
what would be most beneficial. My personal intentions are pretty simple. Uh, one of the things I want to do is be more um, health conscious. Now, I'm not setting a goal to lose a certain amount of weight or to be able to do this many push-ups by the end of the year. I'm not setting something like I gotta work out every single day. Like, that's too rigid. I won't be able to sustain that. I'm, I know that already, because I've tried it before and it didn't work, okay? So, instead of kind of being very strict on my goals, what I'm gonna do is set an intention to be more health conscious over the next year. And then that would allow me to set individual goals month to month, week to week, even day to day of what I'm going to do to kind of move in that direction to be a healthier person over the next year. Another area that I want to focus on is being more consistent and productive. People who know me personally will know all of the things that I was able to accomplish over the past year. Some of those things you've seen on my DIY channel, but DIY first, but I could do a lot more. And I don't really like the, I don't wanna say lazy, but the more uh, just kind of, uh, I'll say relaxed version of myself. Cause I can kind of get into a rut sometimes and it's kind of hard to get motivated and to get up and get moving. But I want to be more productive and more consistent, particularly with my YouTube content creation. And so that is one of the things is to be more consistent and more productive. Now what that looks like over time, it can kind of change depending on what's going on. Cause you know, I set the rules and I make the rules for myself. But be more consistent and be more productive. The third thing that I want to work on is having a better work life balance. I think I did pretty good with that. I was able to, um, you know, be intentional in terms of how I spend my time, making sure that I'm not bringing work home all the time from my day job. But I think I can do a little better with that and hopefully not be able to bring work home as much. So that's another intention I have is to just create more balance between my day job, my YouTube creation journey, and my personal life and spending time with people that really matter. So what do good intentions look like? You can focus on things like, you know, self-care, um, emotional health, relationships, overall well-being, mental well-being, and things like that. So it may look like, you know, I will practice gratitude or I'll be more mindful. You could say I'll be kind to myself things like that. So those are just kind of very general, very vague. And then you can decide over time, what exactly does that look like? And how can I incorporate this intention into my real life and make it a reality? So here's some tips, simple ways to set intentions for yourself. The first thing you need to do is reflect on your values. Think about what really matters to me. What's really important what do I want for myself and be able to prioritize the things that you do and how you move from day to day to make sure that they fit with your values and that they're helping to get you to the next level. The next thing you can do is brainstorm. You know, write down three, four, five different things that you may want to incorporate into your intentions this year. It might be that you want to read more books or, um, you know, I don't know, work on your financial stability. So kind of brainstorm some different ways and different intentions that you have based off of the values that you have. And then based off of that, you can set your actual intentions. Remember, you wanna think about where you are now and build from there. You don't wanna to try to like change your whole life and become a completely new person. You wanna take where you are and build from that. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. Everyone has things that are working for them. So take what you have working for you, build off of that. And you wanna make sure that you write it down. If you didn't write it down, it didn't happen. And it's not a very good method to just try to hold things in your head and just, okay, I'll just remember it. Because you won't, be honest, you won't. And so write it down. We write things down that are important. And I think this is important enough to write it down and make sure you put it somewhere 
where you'll be able to see it on a regular basis. I have written mine in my planner for the year in a couple of different places. I have a little sticky note that I wrote them down again that I can carry from month to month. And I'm gonna put it on my bulletin board in my office as well. So I wanna make sure that these intentions are basically screaming at me all year to make sure that I stay consistent and that I follow through on what I said I wanted to do. It also helps to have an accountability buddy. So if you share your intentions with other people, then it kind of puts a little like extra pressure on you to like follow through on what you said. And you have someone hopefully that's supportive that will kind of be able to back you up and you know kind of shift you back in the right direction if you fall off because you know we kind of do that but you want to have someone that you know that you can trust that will help motivate you and help keep you on track so one of the main rules about intentions that you got to remember is that intentions are intended to be flexible you don't know what's going to happen over the next year and so you can't be so stuck and rigid on these specific things that don't allow for life situations to be included in your goal setting throughout the year. I mean, you could lose your job, you know, someone could pass away, you could become depressed or develop anxiety or any number of things that might throw you off from what you said you would do in your resolutions. And so intentions can kind of ebb and flow and kind of go with you regardless of what situations you're going through because they're not so rigid and stuck. They're flexible and they can move with you through these different situations so that at the end of the day or the end of the year, you're still on track with who you said you wanted to be. So think of it more like, it's not like setting goals, but me defining what type of person do I want to be. So, I don't know, think about it. <laughs> Take into consideration the things that I've said. Um, you know, if you have some intentions, leave them in the comment. I would love to hear from you guys what direction you want to go. What are you hoping to change about your current circumstances over the next year? Maybe you'll give me some ideas. I don't know. We can work together on that. Wherever you are in your journey to improve yourself, with whatever your circumstances are right now, just remember that to have good mental health and good mental well-being, you have to have a strong community. And hopefully we can build this community to be really supportive and really encouraging to each other. That's my hope, that's my dream for this channel. And so leave your comments. Um, I'm gonna call this a safe space and hopefully we don't have any trolls coming in trying to mess up everything. But leave your comments, let me know what your intentions are, what areas do you want to work on, focus on, and we'll kind of get through it together. If you have any topics that you would like to hear about, if you want any advice on anything, um, anything like that, just leave it in the comments and we'll see if we can get that done in the future. So go ahead and like the video if you like the video. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And I don't know, I guess we'll see how this whole thing turns out. I'm going to get working on my goals and hopefully you'll do the same with setting your intentions and then use that to push yourself through month to month, week to week, day to day, so that by this time next year, we're going. Okay? So as always, fear nothing, assume nothing, take nothing for granted. All right, y'all. Go be great.